My name is Amber and this is my wax for this picture of a horse. I made it by drawing and colouring in with wax crayons and going over it with ink. Hello, my name's Catherine and I did an art attack of a, of a craft using wax crayons and ink. Hello, my name's Fiona, and this is my wax resistant picture of a sunset. Ah, wax resist. Good art attack, and there's lots of different effects you can get using this technique. Try this. Make a very simple wax crayon picture, but make sure the paper is completely covered in wax right up to the edges. And then, you're not going to believe what I'm going to do next tear your picture. Now watch what happens when I tear a piece of paper that's been covered in wax crayon. Look at that. You get like that white border around the edge. Now if you do that very slowly and carefully around your picture, you end up with a white rough edged border all the way around. And that is good. In fact, it's so good, I'm going to crunch it up. Now, don't worry, I haven't gone mad. It's all part of the effect I'm after. I'm trying to crack the wax on the paper. I should do it. Just smooth it out again. There it is. And then I'm going to take some blue ink. And I'm just going to literally slop the ink onto the paper. Now, you can do this with very watered-down blue poster paint, but I find ink is best for this. Look at that, eh? The messier, the better. I'm just going to brush it all over my picture. Like that. Make sure you cover the whole of the picture. And as you can see, a little bit messy, so probably better to put some newspaper down when you're doing this one. And then splashing everywhere. Look at that. Good fun. And then take some kitchen towel or loo roll or even blotting paper and start to blot off the excess ink. Look at that, great fun. Just get rid of that ink up top. And you'll notice that when all the excess ink is gone, there's just a little bit of ink that's settled here in the cracks, giving it a sort of shattered effect. And then to finish it off, if you take some PVA glue, you know, the school glue in the white squidgy bottles, oh, look at that, and just simply pour it all over your picture, <laughs> and then slop it on with a brush, again, covering your picture. And at this point, you might think, he's gone mad. It looks a mess. Well, you're right. No, I haven't gone mad. It does look a mess. But if you leave it to dry overnight, when you go back to it the next day, as long as you've covered it completely, it will look something like that. And the PVA glue has gone hard, shiny, and see-through, giving it this fantastic sort of reflected light finish. And if you back it onto some white paper or card, you get a great batik effect picture. Try it yourself. Transform an ordinary wax crayon picture simply by screwing it up, cracking the wax, covering it in ink, and giving yourself a wax crack attack. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.